Okay guys, so uh, this video is going to be very casual. Um, I'm kind of doing this video because um, I just watched, and you'll find out why, um, I just watched the unboxing videos of, and like review videos of my past Fitbits that I had. And um, I was like, you know what? Might as well do a, an Apple Watch review. Um, oh my God, this band is so sparkly. And show you my bands and accessories and what I think about it and so on and so forth. Also stay tuned to the end of this video. I am going to just throw clips of the kittens. If you follow them on Instagram, you've probably seen some of these already in their Instagram stories. Yeah, so that's a little treat for you at the end of the video. Um, I'm also waiting on a shipped order. They're currently doing it right as we speak. Didn't mean I'm doing this video right this second. I thought they would be done with it by now, but they're not. So the reason why I got the Apple Watch is because my uh, Fitbit Charge 3 died. It was not died. So I was in the pool at work and um, I have a very strict schedule that we have to stick to. And so I looked to see what time it was. I looked at my Fitbit and I could not tell the time. Like I was, it was in direct sunlight and I kept doing this and I couldn't even see it. And I was like, okay, I need a new watch. I need a new watch. I need a new Fitbit or whatever. So I had had my eye on the Fitbit Versa, um, which looks very similar to an Apple watch. And I really wanted a rose gold one, specifically one that had, um, capabilities for Amazon Echo. Um, I'm not going to say her actual name. Apple Pay or Fitbit Pay or like some something along those lines. That's what I really wanted out of a fitness tracker um, slash smartwatch. If you've seen my other Fitbit videos, um, I had mentioned that cast members weren't allowed to wear Apple watches or smart watches rather. Um, since then, things have changed a little bit. It's more of if you're in specific roles. And um, I had seen multiple of my cast member friends had Apple Watches, and so I was like, I guess it's okay. So that's why I went ahead and got an Apple Watch. Uh, fun fact, um, literally uh, two weeks later, not even, um, we got a notice of how they're no longer uh, allowed for our role. So I can't wear this to work anymore. But um, that's beside the point. <laughs> I'm actually using um, our Charge 2 because the Charge 2 Fitbit still does work. I'm using that at work currently, just so that way I can track fitness um, and stuff like that and kind of like compare and contrast slash add it to my Apple Watch data um, just to keep it up to date and everything. So I do do more physical work at work than I do when I'm not at work because I only work out like really once a week, once or even twice a week, like going to the gym and such. Um, I am trying to do more like small strength exercises um, that don't involve cardio because I do so much cardio and like leg work at work, um, but that's beside the point. So that's what I'm using at work. Um, but before this, <laughs> I was really excited and loving my Apple Watch. I mean, I still do now. Now I'm just like, it's, you know, an accessory that I just can't wear at work type of a thing. Like if it was like a ring, you can't wear at work or a necklace or something along those lines. That's pretty much how I think about it. If I had known that I wouldn't have been able to wear an Apple watch, I would have definitely gotten uh, a Fitbit Versa. Um, but that said, I had been wanting an Apple watch for a really long time. And the reason, the ultimate reason why I got one was because I could wear it at work. And then also because it, it, they were so similar in price. The Fitbit Versa was like 170 something. And this one I got, this is a series three and I'll explain why I got a series three instead of an SE. Um, the series three, they were on sale on Amazon for like 120 something. Um, it was definitely under 150 and I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm just going to get it. I'm just going to get it. Now my reasoning why for getting a series three instead of an SE was because, well, one, they're still selling the series three on the Apple website, which means it's still relevant. But in my mind, as long as Apple is still selling it, um, then it's still going to be able to be kept up. Um, and besides, this is my first one. Oh, my package has been delivered. Thank you. I didn't get an SE because it was like 200 something. And my reasoning for getting this instead of a Fitbit was because they were about the same price. So that would have just kind of knocked that out of the ballpark. Um, my next watch, I will probably invest in something like that. I don't know, especially now that I can't wear it at work and I don't plan on changing roles for like the foreseeable future. 
But yeah, so that's why I ended up getting a new smart watch now is because I had the need for it. Um, I was actually planning on shipping my charge two to a friend of mine. Um, but because I need something that functions and that one functions fine, there's like nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm using that one at work and then the charge three is going to my friend Stephanie, which Stephanie, if you're watching this, you better come. I don't know how long that's going to be functioning, but like it's pretty good for your first Fitbit. <laughs> Can we just like acknowledge how beautiful this band is? I got this band and all of my bands I got from Amazon, but I got this one. I got a red one for Christmas that I've been wearing. I've been wearing a Christmas red one with a green clock face. Um, how did that get? I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, and then I have this one because it matches my rose gold ears that I have and I wear my rose gold ears more often than not. So also my nails are super sparkly because it's my weekend and I can wear whatever I want on my weekend. I got the silver one with a white band um, because I like the white band more than the black band and it was okay with work so I got the white band. Um, I got, this is the Heyday band from Target. I love this color. Every Fitbit that I've ever had, I have had a band in this color and I've had a band in this color. And then this is the first one that I got um, because this was a color that I could wear before. So I wanted to wear this for work and see which one I like better um, to wear at work. Um, before, when I was able to wear it at work, I wore just this one just because it's like the one it came with. It's very high quality and sturdy. Um, and I wasn't sure because this one had holes in it, even though it was okay before, they seem to be, because we have such a smaller team, they're kind of like nitpicky on us when it comes to the Disney look. So I decided to get this one. This one I, is with the one that I wear for bed because this one, the glitter ones will snag. So I switch it out at night um, to this one because it's very thin, very comfortable. So yeah, but like this has got like massive mermaid vibes and I am obsessed with it. The thing that I have not gotten used to for my Apple Watch is the app um, menu. I don't know how I feel about this whole little, all the apps are there. There's also no way to like organize it like on your phone. So like on my phone, I like everything to be like in files in a sense, like all my fitness apps are together. All of my like YouTube apps are together. Like all of the junk apps that I don't use that can't get rid of are all together. And you can't do that on here. That's another thing that really annoys me is you can't, there's apps on here that you can't delete. Like, I'm not gonna check my email on here. I'm never gonna really use a calculator on here. I don't use regular iTunes. I don't use podcasts really. And there's like a couple of other things on there that I just don't need and I'd rather not them be there. I'm getting stressed just thinking about it. <laughs> there are some apps that I don't understand why they have an Apple Watch capability. For example, my Bible app, I can't read my devotionals. I can't like watch the videos on it. Literally all it does is tell me what's trending, like verses, which is really weird. Um, gives me alarms, um, which I already get from the regular app. It could just like send me a notification. Um, and then like the verse of the day, like it doesn't do what I need it to do. Like, I don't know if the new Apple Watches have this or not, but it doesn't have like a keyboard where you can like text on it. Um, so like, that's kind of frustrating. Like if I want to type down a note or something and I can't, um, oh, I got a message. They've completed my order. Yay. It took me a couple days to figure it out, but a lot of my friends, um, from work who have Apple Watches who no longer can wear them, um, gave me tips and tricks on how to, um, how to get rid of the notifications. For example, it has like this theater mode, which will dim the screen. Um, you can also hit like, do, you can have it mirror your phone. So when my phone is on do not disturb, like that's on do not disturb. My watch will be on do not disturb. I had the hardest time trying to find a decent sleep app. Um, I don't know if I'm in love with the sleep app that they have, but because it's built into the phone, it's going to be easier to access and use in that sense. That is one thing that does kind of, is there a kitty behind me? There is a kitty behind me. Hi, Mocha. Say hi, Mocha. The Fitbit app um, had more like, this is your REM sleep, this is your deep sleep, this is your light sleep, and would be able to measure how much of what you got so you could really see how good of a sleep you got versus this is like, 
this is when you were asleep and this is when you woke up and like just gives you that time frame it doesn't tell you how much good sleep you got versus like bad sleep because i get a lot of light sleep typically um so that's kind of frustrating if you have any tips and suggestions for sleep apps like really good sleep apps please let me know battery does not seem to last very long on this for the fitbits now the fitbits of course did a lot less um but i just feel like i was always like able to charge it in the shower for like the 15 minutes that i was in the shower or whatever and it would be fine um like if i did a lot of workouts and stuff sometimes i would have to charge it a little longer but more or less it pretty much lasted as long as i needed it to this i have to charge it like in the shower and then also like i charge it i have a charger in bed like right before like while i'm sitting just in bed trying to fall asleep i am mostly an apple user i have an imac i have an iphone ipad whatever so any sort of apple product like that does help me integrate things but for example today um i had a lot of things that i ha errands that i had to get done early this morning um and you know how your brain is early in the morning when you haven't had your coffee or your tea um and i got easily distracted and because last night i added in reminders um and certain time frames of when i would need to do these things i was able to remember them and it gave me like buzzes on my watch where if it was on my phone i wouldn't have been looking at it um because like my phone kind of sits to the side when i'm in the car or i don't always have my phone on me that is another thing i do like about my apple watch is if there's a call or a text or a notification i don't have to have my phone on me my phone can be charged i don't have to be near my computer my computer could be charging and this is on me and it's going to tell me what's going on it also makes it easier to respond to texts because i've been communicating with family and friends back home a lot more um and so like when i'm cooking and stuff like that i can just hit the the talk to text also works very very well friends and family if there's no punctuation in my text messages that's why i'm doing talk to text um but it works very very well this the siri function works very well as well um i just like hold down the um dial i guess is what this is called and then say whatever and she pretty much helps me out. There are certain apps like my Bible app, like um, I have, there's an app that I'm using currently for workouts called Fit On, and I also have Groker. Um, I can schedule or plan a workout, typically it's a yoga type of a thing, in the morning or a meditation to do, and it will tell me, like on my watch, like you need to do this. I did stupidly and accidentally get rid of a ton of apps that were already preloaded on my Apple Watch and I can't because I got rid of them. I don't remember what they were or how to get them because I've been looking for them, like a timer. I can't find the timer app. I believe there was one. I don't know where it is. Um, I liked using that for breaks and stuff. Um, but like I said, um, anything, it's like basically an attachment to your phone. Um, which like I said is great because I'm not always looking at my phone, um, but this is on me Also, it made it easy for me if I'm walking around doing something like I'll be like Oh, I need to do this when I get home or I need to do this later um, I will so, cause I'll put it in my planner and I'll forget if I tell this That I need to do something then it will remind me later But anyway, like I said, I've been rambling on I probably have to edit so much of this out, but that's okay Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna put some kitty videos in here right now of the children. Mocha is here, Ruben is hanging out over there. Um, I don't wanna wake her up, she's too cute. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to my ramble, ramblings and randomness. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and I'm doing better, which is a good thing. And I will see you guys in the next one, goodbye. Starbucks. I know I named you after Starbucks, but you can't have it.
Good boy. Say, buddy. Mocha. My Mocha Chino. My Peppermint Mocha. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet baby boy, when you want to be. Say hi. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs>